fellow followers, welcome back to Fancine. Greg here, and today I have for you, where have all the movie monsters gone? I have been thinking about this for a little bit here. You know, recently I've watched some, like, classic movie monsters and some 80s movies monsters and stuff, you know, because I really, that's that's my jam of horror. And I know I talk a lot about physical media on this show, but this is, you know, I also do horror stuff here as well, too, for anybody that's watching and wondering what's going on here. Uh, but, yeah, I watched Dracula versus Frankenstein from the 70s. I watched Renfield. Loved Renfield, by the way. And then after watching the uh, Robert England uh, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares uh, documentary and singing about, you know, Freddy and Jason and how, you know, especially when I get to that point about like, oh, somebody wanted to see uh, Dracula versus the Wolfman at one point in time or Frankenstein versus Dracula. And then they want to see Freddy versus Jason. And, you know, I've always found myself drawn to these like monster horror movies, the universal monster movies, which I've absolutely loved. There's some of my all time favorite movies. I can remember renting them from the video store as a kid, just stacks by stacks and enjoying uh, with the Wolfman being my favorite and Dracula, Frankenstein, all them. And of course there's the hammer horror films out there that everybody loves that sort of had a darker, more British uh, take on them. And Christopher Lee as Dracula is definitely the standout in that. And, but that, you know, they had these whole hor hammer horror, like monster type films as well too which were really amazing and then of course the 80s which i really really dig is we had like freddie and jason and we had leatherface and pinhead and we had all a plethora of not just like those i mean those are the you know michael myers is all those are the main ones that we all know and grew up with in the 80s but like they really were the next generation of monster movies you know these monster characters i mean we had moved on from dracula and frankenstein and, and you know of course we had you know these type of monsters show up uh and they really took hold in like freddie being an example of like Dracula and uh, Jason being an example of like Frankenstein and uh, you know we had Michael Myers that could you could either use like the Creature from the Black Goon or maybe even a mix of Frankenstein as well and then you had Leatherface and they're like they were all uniquely their own characters as well too but you could relate them back to those monsters and they sort of you know that's where you found it but like I said there were so many other like monsters in that area era of the 80s that just really felt like because it was so much inspired by the 50s and the, the sci-fi and horror movies from the 50s with the directors making those in the 80s. And I was thinking in today's day and age, horror is still going strong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying horror, horror isn't doing strong. Horror, I, I get so tired of people saying that. Is horror still alive? It's still raking in the money at the box office. Yes, horror is still alive. It's never gone away. Horror at the box office has always been huge and just people always do not want to see how great horror horror is or want to give it any respect even with the the movies making bank today but the, the horror movies today to me they're always just like either possession story or a haunted house or a ghost story we've lost that uh the monster movie and that's what i really want to talk about the monster movie we have really lost uh what happened to the monster movies i've been waiting you know uh, believe it or not i want new entertainment i know i always talk about older entertainment i want new entertainment to enjoy to go along i want new monsters that I can go along with my universal box set of monsters to go along with my, uh, 80s horror slasher movie monster sets that I have. I want new monster movies and I'm just not seeing that. And I, everything eventually comes around and I, I don't know if I want them tackled quite in today's day and age because I'm not a big fan of the like the modern Hollywood entertainment, AI, political, uh, agenda-driven entertainment that's just content. But uh, there's a lot of great indie horror directors and stuff I see out there creating like monster movies or horror movies uh, with the, like a new slasher and stuff that just, you know, maybe aren't as mainstream. And I keep waiting for that monster movie, the mainstream slasher monster movie type mix to come, to come back. And that's something I really do want to see make a comeback. Cause like, where are all those monster movies out there? I mean, I can find a few here and there on indie horror, which is great, but I want to see them thriving again. I want, you know, I love that old school feel. And I think, um, you know, as a horror fan and stuff, uh, and if anybody can relate to this, let's see some, uh, new, uh, you know, movie monsters. Let's see, let's see it. And you know, I got to thinking. Even though I know Robert England's retired from Freddy Krueger, and and I, I'm fine with that. And like I said, I'm cool with letting things end. And but when I'm talking about like monster movies, I don't need to see like continuations of like the Nightmare on Elm Street series or Universe Monsters. Uh, there's still going to be like Dracula movies, regardless. And it, that's something different. That's not like that because like the Bela Lugosi Dracula has ended. You know, but uh, I just after watching Renfield, I could just imagine seeing like. Uh, Nicholas Cage's Dracula, which is like an amalgamation of Bela Gossi, Christopher Lee, and all these other things that uh, Nick Cage put into it. Could you imagine that him interacting with uh, Freddy Krueger? 
that would have been an amazing monster movie. But I mean, I'm cool with, like I said, I know Robert Englund's retired and stuff. I'm not trying to, you know, say let's do it one more time. But that would be pretty cool. But I want to see something in the vein where I can get to that point with like, hey, did you see the new movie monster? What if this movie monster went up against this movie monster in a new movie? And it, you know, it is a bit of a shame that in the '80s, with all the like the retro nostalgic love for the '50s, like we have the '80s retro nostalgic love now in the tw- 2020s. It's a shame that we never got to see like the Universal Monsters interact with like the slashers in a horror movie together one on one. That would be cool. But I want to see new a new generation of movie monsters. I want to see new movies slasher monsters make their way into the theater into our hearts and you know build these audiences and uh, to where we can get to the point at one day saying what if this monster fought this monster? Because I really I really would like uh, a new new iterations of movie monsters, new ones, new cre- originally created characters, not. Uh, uh, you know, rehashed characters. Um, but I mean, um, of course, like we'll get like the Monster Squad. Like the Monster Squad came out in the 80s, which was a direct thing of like, what if the Universal Monsters came out in the 80s, which was really cool. And I loved it. And by the way, that it may be coming to 4K this sometime this year. So I'm super pumped about that. But, uh, you know, we could always get something like that down the line with like, oh, well, let's bring back these movie monsters like this in the modern age. But I want to see new movie monsters. That's what I'm trying to get. At. I want to see new movie monsters. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of uh, Possession and Haunted house and exorcist and demon horror films i want to see like old school creature effects practical effects blood gore like that or just like you know these monsters that show up and just like wreak havoc and then maybe you need the virgin to help save the day or the or the church comes in i think that's pretty cool like old school like like the church comes in to save the town from these monsters from the or or like the army or something or like the monster squad era type things i would love to see monster movies like that once again uh but let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below are you guys up for it do you guys want to see new Movie monsters. What happened to the movie monsters? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. And if you liked what you saw here, maybe consider hitting that like button or subscribing and uh, hitting the bell for notification or sharing the video out for everybody to see. That'd be really cool if I, uh, you know, if you did all that for me because I would really appreciate that as well. It helps my channel. Or joining and becoming a channel member because that really, really helps my channel. And shout out to all my channel members. I thank you all for being channel members here. Appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for putting up with me. And to everybody watching, uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for watching. Wherever you all are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media. It is the superior format. Godspeed.